Muscle Cars Universe. Welcome everyone to the 2024 Rudders Beach Festival. We are up here in Oriwa, north of Auckland, to see what the New Zealand holiday and summer season has to offer in terms of classic cars and amazing, amazing rides. This event happens on a yearly basis and it falls on the Auckland anniversary weekend. So as you can see, the turnout is just spectacular and I'm ready to show them all to you guys. Shall we? So we start from these beautiful new schools, bright colors, and this stunning 1970 Dodge Charger RT. This was completely restored. It rocks a 440 Magnum 4 barrel. And look, it doesn't get any better than this really. Beautiful, beautiful vinyl top in white. Look at that. The most period correct charger I've ever seen. And then here a 63 Cadillac Eldorado. Stunning car. And a 67. Actually 68 because of the side markers. 68 notch back. Mustang the monster. Basically this is a Corvette chassis with Corvette interiors and everything that's been completely restomoded into a uh, mix between an Impala, a Bel Air and again a Corvette which is, uses the uh, platform. I spotted this car before many many times at other events and it still surprises me how they were able to achieve this thing. How they were able to achieve building it. As you can see the front is a 57 Bel Air. Unbelievable. Truly unique, isn't it? And a six-speed manual. So that must be fun. And then a 1930 two-door. Very cool interiors. Fifty-seven Bel Air four-door Holden Galaxy. This one's got a bit of patina on the body. Then, oh, a Nomad. Now that's rare. That's very rare. As rare as it gets. 1957 Nomad. Wow. But man, this Galaxy is pretty cool, eh? Well, seems like a sleeper, actually, because of the Willwood kit, possibly, as I can see written in here. And a 460 badge on the side. So this thing must be an animal. If that's. Yeah, you can see maybe. You can peek through the glass the additional gauges, the quick shifter, BM quick shifter. Yeah, that's an interesting one, eh? Proper sleeper look. Be cool to see what's it packing. And then this pretty cool Wild 23. This was a QMU last weekend. That's a very interesting setup, isn't it? Considering this is actually road legal. Very cool spoiler. Everything chrome. Wow. That's amazing, eh? Supercharged. Ooh, AFR heads. Nice. And then a Thunderbird. This is actually a Buick, I believe. Actually, no, an Oldsmobile. You can recognize it's an Oldsmobile because of the stars in the in the badge. There you go, all the stars. It's an Oldsmobile. 
and it's got 88 here as, here as well which is uh, which is the most known model of Oldsmobiles um, I'm going to say 1950 mid 50s I believe it really looks like a 57 Bel Air those were the days that was the era stunning car and then a Ford truck pretty cool all patina like that full box beautiful and here we have Tomata it's an amazing looking truck 47 Chevy hey, unmistakable pretty cool with the uh, billet specialties billet wheels we got some uh, custom brakes as well and then we got a uh, the next car is a Torana SLR 5000 I really like this car, it's very compact, nimble and fast I would say another Holden here this time a uh, Monaro I think wow this is pretty cool really restored to factory and then a Fairlane 500 4 speed manual with additional RPM gauge very very cool this was the beginning of the stacked headlights period and it's massive, I don't know if it fits the camera uh, Ford F5, beautiful it's got a really cool rumble as well spotted at many car events before I really like the, uh, the side pipes like that, beautiful big truck and then a Chevy 3100 here, Snow White. I don't want to be your liar. That's stunning, eh? The full treatment, brand new deck. And not another Nomad, just a Chevy Bel Air wagon. But still, so much charm. Wow. 1956. Recognizable by the. Uh, the ornament on the hood Thunderbird 1957 Lady P maybe Lady Driven I would say that's the same Ford Falcon XD that I spotted at the previous events again Lincoln Continental actually no Premier another mid 50s ah oh, there you go 1957 for sale 60 grand now before you get a heart attack you're watching from us these are new zealand dollars okay don't get too scared about that's probably about uh 30 30 uh, no not 30 but 40 45 000 us that's so cool and by the way guys i've started facilitating brokerage of classic cars on a worldwide scale so if you're watching this video and you want to have a hold of this car I can go and have a look for you guys and do a full report just for you to know this channel beautiful Lincoln and then obviously the Eternal 69 Mustang Fastback 351 Mac 1 beautiful rear louvers spoiler twin exhausts the second mopper of the day this Plymouth Belvedere 1966 maybe because the 65 is much different yeah definitely 66 very recognizable recognizable by the front grille and another 80s Chevy here and a hot rod now Rodgers Beach Festival is cool because of these initiatives as well we have the um, our own Elvis we continue here with this beautiful Z28 honest, honest with you guys I want to own a car like this I like this Gen Camaro it's what I was literally brought up with I'm an 80s kid I just love the shape of the Irox Z 
and the Z28. There's something about this car that's just so cool. And then we have a 68 Camaro here with the vinyl top, C6 Mustang. And a 67 Mustang as well. Why 67? No marks on the sides. The 68 has side markers. This one doesn't. 67. And then another Camaro. Another one again with the vinyl top staggered color scheme. This time an SS with cheap foes wheels. Beautiful 68. Another 68, yes. And a 64 Mustang convertible. My favorite model years of the C10. The 6970. That's beautiful. And then there's, uh, as the plate says, Rare 32. Beautiful color on this thing. Wow. Looks like a 350. Is it? 283 actually. 283. Brand new interiors. Music cassette player. Very nice. And then this Ford truck F100, 1956. Another really cool rod. This was at the indoor showcase at QMU last week. Very cool to see it out here again. Really like the details of this car. Stunning. And this 1967 Mustang convertible. Luggage racks and then the Chevy Nova 1973, beautiful with the Nova SS decals on the side. You can tell it's a seven, post 70s model very easily. Really like this car, guys. 350 RS 1967 with pretty cool interiors. BM quick shifter, additional gauges, the works. And then a uh, Silverado stunning Ford hot rod gear with a flathead Offenhauser. That's beautiful. Oh, look at the pinstriping. What a cool detail. What a cool detail. My favorite C10 in the Auckland scene. I'm glad to see it here again. This truck is beautiful. Again, it's the details that matter. It's got a brand new upholstery. These side mirrors is just so cool. Being borderless. As you can see, the mirror doesn't have a finishing around it. Doesn't have a uh, frame. Badges are on point. It's just literally very well kept. And I can't spend enough words as to how really cool it sits. Also with the, uh, the deck cover, it's just straight up, you know, and, just, and the 60 Cadillac. Pretty cool to see when they have, when they still have the badge from the actual dealership. This one, Rickenbau, Denver. Staggered paint job. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful car. 1960 Cadillac. 70 Pony, 1970. Stunning Oldsmobile here too. That's what I like about these classic car events. You get all these different cars all together. Having a Caddy, a C10, the Ford Hot Rod, the 70 Mustang, and this ultimately, ultimately Oldsmobile Starfire. It's just so diverse. You see, here in New Zealand, we love every classic car. We don't hate on each other. We're just a very tight community celebrating all things nostalgic like it's happening here at Rodgers Beach Festival. This is the corner here of the car park and this 33 Ford. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's got a uh, 430. Oh, that's nice. Never heard of a 430. Look at the shape of the fenders, so beautiful. Pretty cool GTS Monaro in bright green. 
58 Bel Air again easily re recognizable by the front grille the paired headlights another Holden another Holden and an even better Holden that's a really big blower wow look at that BDS supercharger <laughs> Wow, and the interiors, wow, that's so cool. These are the proper interiors I like. 80s, baby, look at that. And then a Grand Prix Pontiac. I was almost gonna say Catalina, but the Catalina has got sort of a fastback shape at the back here, whereas the Grand Prix and the, also the Parisienne are a little bit different. Not too easy to uh, name them apart, um, but I do my best here guys in Mastercard Universe in dissecting every single car I see at these shows 1971 72 split bumper Camaro That's, hey guys really really love the shape of the Camaro one thing I always liked is the uh, the rear tail lights sort of slipstream rockety thingy and then this Willys Coupe 1941 unmistakable paint job we catch this in many events many events around it's awesome chunky tires at the back and a rumble to die for then we have a Kingswood a Chevy Nova 1960 ah this is a tough one maybe 63 no actually no it's not a 63 maybe 65 yeah, so 60, from 64 onwards we had the dual uh, rear taillights, so that's definitely a 65, same year of the first Chevelle. And then obviously C3 Corvette with the uh, Targa top, white cream paint job, Ford Pops, Ford Popular, very cool Pops. I like when they take these things to the drags and they make them go like eight second nine second fast and yeah we, we have some someone like their direct cousin direct twin with this ford hot rod as well beautiful and after this beautiful car park and all the cars that i just showed you we can now step into the uh, classics lane here at rogers beach festival yes you heard it right the whole road is being closed to allow these beautiful classics to be showcased here at this magnificent event and we start here with a very known car the one I have actually featured for sale it still is for sale this beautiful 1957 two-door convertible Bel Air with the Continental kit I was shooting this car actually up north here around these areas and I can tell you guys I've seen very few cars on this caliber around so go check out my full feature of this car and again this is for sale so if you would need any contacts or information about it feel free to ring me or send me an email beautiful 71 torino coming out through the back alleys we continue here with this beautiful buick this was one of the cars we invited at the indoor showcase qmu last week beautiful car tastefully modified lowered all of that stunning Buick 8 what a car look at those lines amazing eh? so it's an entirely custom build because in New Zealand here we can do scratch builds and make them road legal for everyday use and that's what happened with this vehicle here very very cool and different then we have a Pontiac Catalina 1969 and this Ford two-door hot rod beautiful car look at this thing a couple of more cars very known in the area here this Pontiac Star Chief stars on the side very prominent design features and this really cool 65 Impala SS this has got a very nice sound and this Willys Ford truck beautiful 1940 maybe 41 and another one here a 1939 this time 
with the carburetors, that's awesome. Look at that. MSD ignition, that's nice. It smells like fuel in here. Yeah, it does. That's pretty cool. Proper 30s shape. And another one here for the flathead Offenhauser. Pretty cool carbs repainted. Very nice touch. I like it. Very cool accents, the white walls and the red reprised in this pinstriping line all the way through the body. Very subtle and yet beautiful. The um, step side GMC. That's stunning, eh? 1959 maybe, 1960. Monumental front end for this truck. I actually have to say that GMC trucks is where it's at for me. If I could, I would own something like this. That's stunning, eh? Brand new interiors. Then we have this one-off custom model. I know it's a, it's a Ford wagon. I mean, obviously, you can just tell by the shape of it. It's just that everything about it is special. From the pinstriping to the uh, uh, window handle coming out like this. And it's got brand new interiors. Even these details right here, quite unusual. And you can see this, the full billet steering wheel. Again, the interiors are completely redone. The gauge cluster comes out like this. So that's really, really different from anything you've ever seen before. That's what I like doing here, guys, at MasterCars Universe. I bring you only the best and most custom vehicles, unique vehicles that I can find. Stunning car and i would say stunning her gt500 <laughs> here shelby that's beautiful wow 67 eleanor that's so cool eh such a cool design We start from the 69 Camaro, Hurst equipped, the TBS blower on a uh, 396 big block. That's awesome. Quick fuel carburetors. Wheel with disc brakes. US Max billet wheels. I mean, this thing is a weapon. Oh, it's a five-speed manual as well. It's got the uh, billet contour for the rear tail lights as well. Very nice, subtle touches. And gloss black like this, wow. Must be hard to keep it clean, but that's cool, man. As cool as this 57 Bel Air two-door. Now, these, these cars are rare, man. They're worth pretty penny. That's stunning. Look at those fins. Wow. Here we have a Thunderbird, an actual original Q code, packing a 428 cubic inches. It's a beautiful color, this dark forest green. 575 horsepower. All original interiors, look, they look very comfy, wow. Pretty cool steering wheel. That's awesome, no? Mobile. Plate says 67. It looks like a it looks like an Impala actually. I mean, the, at the end of the day, Oldsmobile and Buick were GM rebranded into a, something different. You can definitely see it's an Oldsmobile because of the the two front headlights and the direction indicator in the middle. Stunning interiors, front bench, and that's for the 50th year anniversary of the Corvette from 1953 to 2003. 
That's why this one is based off a C5 Corvette. And these are not actually exhaust tips, these are actually just fog lights. Or maybe direction indicators, but yeah, the rear exhaust up down here. <laughs> but they look like the exhaust, that's pretty cool. Then this Caddy, rusted Cadillac. Now that's a whole lot of slab of a car. It looks like a, a bread loaf, literally. A slab. Coupe de Ville. Rusted out, patina, everything. Nice cool details on the sides. That's amazing, eh? Look at this thing. Wow. Here we have a bit of a Mopar corner with this 446 pack, 4 speed manual, air grabber, 1971 Roadrunner. Now that's a bit of a handful, isn't it? That's a bit of a. That's very rare. Such a cool shape, cool design, eh? Especially the front grill. Look at that. 604 Hemi 73 Cuda. This is rocking a Ray Barton racing engine. 900 and something horsepower. Naturally aspirated, no nitrous. So this is all motor. And again, 604 cubic inches racing engine. Hemi race engine. Weld wheels with bit locks, massive chunky tires. If you want to see this car in action, make sure you tune into my latest uh, drag racing video from the Wellington Invasion. This car is actually is being used on the road and on the racetrack at the same time. The ultimate weekend. Pretty cool, eh? And the rumble. Oh well. Then after that, a 67 Chevelle SS with a 502 crate engine. That's a pretty neat package, isn't it? Doesn't look too big compared to the 396. I think Chevy has done a bit of a miracle with the 502. I've seen it used and employed in many other builds. New gauges all around. Four-speed manual. Pretty cool, huh? And a Pontiac Bonneville. 67 as well, I think, or 69. The rear end is beautiful. Look at that. Same as the Chevelle. And then this stunning 1934 Plymouth. Mm -hmm. now that, that should be covered if it's raining, but yeah, whatever. Looks like heel bone injection. Yeah, it's a Plymouth, so not many around of these things still left. Very rare De Soto. This one was spotted the Cumio last week when it was driving in. Fire flight. Very prominent front end. It's a 55, so the same area as the Bel Air. But the real cherry on the cake here, guys, is this 1969 Z28, packing a 468 big block. I spotted this car before many other events. Uh, it's got a nitrous kit and uh, it just looks the business. The paint job is just unbelievable. It really comes up right under the sun. It's got an equally themed interior. It's a manual, so that's cool. New gauges, everything. And obviously, the big bottle in the back. Yep, nitrous. And from orange, we go to pink. All themed as well. Stunning. Got a couple of uh, Fords here. Same car actually. 1958 Fairlane. We got one here and one here too. These boys must be twinning. What are the chances of seeing two together? Same like this. Wow. You can see the difference, right? Skyliner. Body. Wow, an Elvis pink 60 Cadillac. <laughs> Literally, Elvis pink. That's what he was driving. Coupe de Ville, glittery sort of 
interiors as well. Looks like uh, bubble gum, literally. We also got some glitter here on the boot. <laughs> How delicious details, the exhaust tips, hard shaped. Ooh, fleet line, Chevy bomb. I like this. This got me written all over it. Stunning, eh? Monumental cars, low and slow. Look at the beauty of the front end, wow. That's stunning. Willis Coop from the Levine family. The one that we invited to the indoor showcase, a QMU. Beautiful car. This other hot rod. A scratch build. This one was the same one I spotted maybe last year, I think. And one of those uh, trouble bound events. And 1934 two door flaming paint job, chop roof, new interiors. Uh, literally that's the norm down here in New Zealand guys. When you when you build a hot rod, especially two doors or coops, you just do them up properly. And then a uh, Ford Fairlane 500 from 1968, easily recognizable by the uh, Tagliadega fastback rear, like that. Super cool gauges, wow. And the front end that's really static isn't it wow and a chevy van wow 3100 truck this is a passenger van maybe a bus should call it very unique i would say even and then a 66 chevelle one of my favorite model years of the chevelle don't ask me why i just love it it's the curved rear tail lights for some reason i like the design of that a lot it was not too easy to achieve back then in the 60s, so a bit of a manufacturing challenge as well. Buick with this uh, checkers front grill. Now imagine producing a grill like this these days. People would think you're crazy. Imagine seeing that in your rear view mirror. Pretty cool fins here for the uh, stacked rear tail lights. And he's got concealed exhaust tips down here. Very sleek, corporate, high level cruiser with all the bells and whistles and comfort of sorts. Very cool. Nice. This was at the uh, coffee and cars meet from last month. So we start with this additional car park down here with these two beautiful Charger and Coronet. This is a 71 440 Magnum RT. That's stunning, eh? With the original paint job and wheels. And then there's 67 current, 66 actually. Looking at the front, the front end, 66 coronet, beautiful paint job on this one too. And another charger. What I really like of these 60s mopars is the trapeze rear panels and the rear quarters. Beautiful. Wow. It's raining now, so it's not nice for my camera, but you know what? Rain or shine, we're out here doing it guys. All for your entertainment. LS Swap Holden. Okay, that's the first one I've seen. That's cool. I mean, it's an LS. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, this is a beautiful Cadillac. Wow. Love the wheels on this thing. It must be 20 inches. Standing soft top. Longest car ever created, maybe. <laughs> Definitely right there in the Guinness World Record. This Chevrolet with these really sturdy five spoke wheels, billet wheels, and Wilwood brakes. Very nice. With the rear dish. The new deck. And this GMC. These beautiful details here. 
I think this is the same GMC that I spotted at this specific show last year. LED lights. But that's stunning, eh? I'm all for GMCs, I don't know what, what's special about it, just I love their trucks. Beautiful Firebird, the same one we spotted at the uh, Coffee and Cars a few weeks ago. I know the owner and hopefully I can bring a full photo shoot and video review of this stunning resto mod. For the Hot Rod, this was spotted at the Manga Fi 2022 car meet a couple of years ago. I still remember it, it was my cover picture for that event. Beautiful, look at the paint job. Sort of uh, green, lime green color. Great choice. A few yellows in here. Ford 1940. This one was also a manga file last week, last year. Really cool 67 Chevelle. Nice wheels from BC Forged. Wheel with disc brakes. And this one I believe is packing a 632 blueprint now. I was talking to the owner not too long ago. Then another Chevy truck. Very cool color combination. Stunning 440 satellite. This is a 10 second car at the drags. It's not just a show car, it's pretty cool. Great color as well. And this 70 Cuda, which was actually raffled last year, 1970, 446 pack, shaker. I mean, it's got all the things you would want in a 70 Cuda. Manual with the pistol grip, I can't show you now because it's raining. But again, 446 pack, original wheels, Plymouth Division, how cool is that? Teardrop, rear mirrors. Lots of nice details, possibly the cleanest 7446 pack CUDA in the country, easily. This thing was making 400 horsepower back then, so imagine that. Wow. 67 Camaro, this was also at the uh, Coffee and Cars from last January edition. Beautiful choice of wheels and six piston front wheel wood brakes. Great color as well. I would call it deep purple. 1957 Chevy truck. Like the way the front wheel has been painted and put into contrast with the chrome. Then we have a 1970 fastback followed by a 69 fastback. And we finish here with this beautiful Chevy truck again. So lots of trucks here at Rodos Beach Festival 2024, as it should be. I have noticed a uptrend in the request for trucks here in New Zealand, classic trucks, I mean. And this is only going to get bigger in terms of car scene, truck scene, I mean. And that's good because I like trucks a lot, especially this one. It's got a pearl paint job. I don't know if you can catch it with the camera, but maybe in the corners there. So it's just beautiful. Great details. Monsoon guards, very nice. New interiors, new gauge cluster. So now we're gonna film the cars rolling out and leaving the event. It's dead time, yes, I love it. Let's go. Here we go, guys.